Good morning, teachers and students. My name is Anya Jain from Class 10C. I will going to present a flip teaching on a triumph of surgery. Next slide. About the author James Harriot, James Alfred Wait. Better known as the pen name James Harriot was a British veterinary surgeon and author. Born in Sunderland, Wade graduated from Glasgow Veterinary College in 1939, returning to England to become a veterinary surgeon in Yorkshire, where he practiced for almost 50 years. He was better known for writing a series. Of eight books set in 1930s to 1950s, Yorkshire Dales about veterinary practice, animals, and their known, which began with If Only They Could Talk, first published in 1970. Over the decades, the series of, of books sold some 16 million copies. The franchise based on his writings was very successful. In addition to the books, there have been several television and film adapt adaptions of Wade's book, including the 1975 film of All Creature Great and Small and the BBC television series of the same name, which ran 90 episodes and 2020 series of the same name. He was the James Harriot. Characters in the story, Mr. Harriot, he was a vet, Mrs. Pumphrey, a rich lady, and a tricky Mrs. Pumphrey's pet dog. The theme of the chapter is the story A Triumph of Surgery is about a dog named Tricky. The theme of the story is about a blind love for, for the one who we love the most. Mrs. Pumphrey had no idea that a blind love and extreme love for her dog Tricky took him to trouble. Excessive love, excessive love made Tricky sick and became a reason of his illness. The summary of a chapter. The chapter, A Triumph of Surgery, is about a small dog, Tricky, who was always indulged by his rich mistress, Mrs. Pumphrey, with a tasty and unhealthy treat several times a day. Out of love, she would overfeed her pet. Gradually, Tricky gained odors of fate and became lazy. He hardly exercised or went out for a walk due to his bloated structure. In due course of time, he became bulky and his lack of movements worried Mrs. Pumphrey. Soon, he, she consulted Mr. James Harriot, a veterinary surgeon, for treatment of a lethargic dog. Mr. Harriot was shocked to see Tricky's condition and took him to the hospital. He knew Mrs. Pumbry's overindulgence would never let a pet dog lead a healthy lifestyle. He took a dog along with him and put him on a hospital bed. The dog didn't move for the first two days and didn't eat any food either. On the third day, Tricky went outside and played with other dogs in the hospital. He ate the food that was given to him and also licked the bowls of the other dogs of a leftover food. Mr. Harriet gave a balanced diet to a Tricky along with a plenty of physical exercise. Gradually, Tricky's condition started improving and he started fighting with other dogs for the meals. His mistress, Mrs. Pumbry, would send eggs so that her pet didn't starve and get enough energy to recover from the treatment. However, James Harriot and his parents and his partners would eat the eggs daily for the breakfast. Further, Mrs. Pumbry would also set the, send the bottle of wine to improve Tricky's blood condition, but those again were consumed by Mr. Harriot and his partners. He felt sorry for eating the food that was sent by Mrs. Pumphrey for Tricky. Soon, as the little dog started showing signs of improvement, the vet decided to call the wealthy lady as she was very worried about her pet's condition. When she arrived in the hospital to fetch her pet, Tricky was very happy and jumped on her. Mrs. Pumphrey was filled with gratitude towards Mr. Harriot for curing her dog and felt she couldn't thank him enough for the wonder he had done for the pet. She felt this was an indeed triumph of surgery. So the assignment is, question number one, what made James Harriet expect a call from Mrs. Pumphrey? Can anyone tell?
Yes, raise your hand, children. What made James Harriet expect a call from Mrs. Pumphrey? Lakshya, I think you need to. Mike, Mike. Lakshya, are you going giving the answer? Abdullah, you don't know? Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, we were sure that the extra diet and no physical activity would soon put risky health and danger. And just as uh, Mrs. Pampari called the vet a few days afterwards. Ex just as expected. Okay, next. What extra did Mrs. Pampari start to give Tricky and why? Ma'am, may I? Yes. Mrs. Pumpery thought that Tricky was suffering from malnutrition and as he was weak and listless. So she, she started to give him extra snacks like cod liver oil and malt between the main meals and Horlicks after dinner. What made Mrs. Pumpery call the vet? May I? Yes. Um, Mrs. Pumpery called the vet because the dog was unwell. And uh, though the dog was loved to eat uh, snacks, cakes, and ice creams, it was overfed and felt uneasy. Yes. How can you say that it was hard for Mrs. Pumphrey to part with a dotting pet? May I? Anyone? Yes. Mrs. Pumphrey treated Tricky as her own child and she loved she loved him very much. So that's why it was very hard for her to, to part with her. Yes. yes, ma'am. Thank you, Ananya.